Robbie, Chip, and Ernie were three of TV's best-known brothers. They all called Fred McMurray dad in one of TV's top sitcoms, My Three Sons. The show ran from 1960 to 1972, and although it specialized in simple lessons for simpler times, it's still a hit in reruns. Angela Shelley looks back and finds out what has happened to My Three Sons. My Three Sons. I want to tell you I'm glad to be here. Fred McMurray played Steve Douglas, a widower, head of an all-male household of three sons, Robbie, Ernie, and Chip. Chip and Ernie are real brothers in real life. We'd drive to work in the morning, we'd go to school together, we shared the same dressing room, we'd do our scenes together, we'd come home together, we'd you know, eat dinner together, and you do that for, you know, for an entire childhood, you, you would think you'd go crazy with that person, but, you know, you know we're still real close. Barry's brother, Stanley Livingston, was actually the first son cast in the series. But the real buzz back then was who'd play the dad. All we knew about the show was they told us it was going to be an incredibly big movie star attached to it. And we were all wondering who it would be. And finally found out after they had cast the other two sons, then they decided to let everybody know it was Fred McMurray, which doesn't sound like a whole lot right now, but in 1959, 1960, that would have probably been the equivalent of Right now, somebody's saying, we have a major star for a series, and then you find out it's Robert Redford. Uh, Chip, uh, why don't you and Ernie help Uncle John with the dishes, huh? Okay. Uncle Charlie, William Demarest, replaced the original uncle, Uncle Bub, played by Bill Frawley, better known as Fred Mertz on I Love Lucy. Frawley died in 1966, so you'll see Uncle Bub in the early episodes, Uncle Charlie in the later ones. Good old gruff Uncle Charlie. Hey, Chip, Ernie, chow's on! because we didn't have a mom. It had a sloppy house. We had clothes hanging all over the place. The dog was on the table eating off of our plates half the time. Um, Robbie, the character that I played, was jumping over the banister rail and, and falling and, and breaking things all the time. So people really, that was refreshing in 1960 to see a family come to the table without their suits on. You know. With a run 12 years long, all three sons grew up on the show. They're still recognized by the older generation, and because of reruns, they're being discovered by the younger one. Parents will maybe recognize me and they'll go, weren't you, you know, weren't you like on My Three Beavers or, I mean, My Three Sons? Uh, you know, stuff like that. Rob, you're uh, not your usual job yourself tonight. Don Grady remembers that his character, Robbie, could always turn to Fred McMurray for fatherly advice. Yeah. But in real life, Fred McMurray was rarely even on the set. We shot all around Fred McMurray. Uh, that was his deal. He would come in and only work three months out of the year. We did all of his scenes, all of his close-ups, all of anything he was in, then he'd leave. And for the rest of the season, we, we went back and did all of the rest of the shows. Nowadays, the grown-up sons have sons of their own. Barry Livingston writes scripts, he directs some, and still acts, sometimes even with his brother. It's a similar career path for Stanley. He's also still in the business, writing, directing music videos. And he also has an artistic side. Stanley designs and makes these painted glass pieces. Uncle Charlie, William Demarest, died in the early 80s. Fred McMurray still lives in Los Angeles, but he's retired, and he rarely makes public appearances. Don Grady's a composer, always musical, even when he was one of the original Mouseketeers, Don wrote the new theme for The Donahue Show. But there's one famous TV theme he can never forget. There was another son who disappeared after the show's first few seasons. He was named Mike Douglas, and he was played by Tim Considine. Today, Tim is the author of two sports books, and he's still involved in TV as a producer. Tomorrow, what have the...